It was either, have you ever had a friend use you or have you ever been used by a friend? I don't remember ex which way it was worded. I think it means the same thing. And what does that mean? You know, used usually has like a negative stigma attached to it. You know, you feel used, but it's not always negative. So first off, we got to define it. You know, um, I need a couple of big guys that can handle themselves tonight. You got anybody I can use? That's not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, hey, um, I don't want my mom to see me when I when we cross the yard, man. Can I use you as a shield? You're being a friend. I'm using my friend as a shield. It's not always bad, you know. Sometimes it's just a level of taking advantage, which again sounds bad. It's not always taking advantage of of somebody's qualities taking advantage of somebody's skills, it could be bad. It could be, you know, like, hey, he makes her cook for him all the time and slave in the kitchen because she makes great food, whatever. But it could also be, uh, it could also be, you know, like, hey, um, when I'm around the sheik, I'm going to take advantage of, uh, uh, of, his, um, of his memory and get some good stories from him. You know, I'm not gonna, that's not a bad thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it really just depends. So when you say, have you ever been used by a friend, of course, we all have. We've been used in good ways, and uh, sometimes it's in a bad way. So I'm going to assume this was a bad way where you felt um, taken advantage of, again, in a bad way. And I can definitely relate to it. A few times pop into mind um, where I was taken advantage of, like, um, mm, let's see. I, I had something in mind. Well, I'll skip the first one then and go to the go to the second one um i had a uh, couple of guys um I'm trying to think of his name justin sampus and jesse daly and i met with uh, justin about starting my own cannabis line and talking to the guy it's not like there wasn't any red flags. He seemed like a fast talker. Uh, he seemed like more of a sales guy. Um, but I thought maybe that'd be kind of a guy to do business with, you know. But they acted like they were friends. Jesse and him have been partners for a long time. They had their own CBD line, and they wanted to do an RVD line of CBD. I didn't know that they were going to be funneling money from one to the other the entire time. Uh, they didn't want me to know about that. But in the meantime, these guys acted like they were friends. Were they my favorite people to be around? No. But at the same time, we all had a common goal, a common agenda. We wanted, we had big plans. We wanted to um, make money and grow our company, make uh, cannabis accessible for a lot of people. Um, so dude, Justin would be at my house. He'd be like working out in my gym with me. Both of those guys were at my wedding. Um, every Tuesday we would have a talk, you know, about the money. Money's coming in, you know, is there enough to start paying ourselves yet or keep investing it, you know? Well, we're close, we're close. They were already paying themselves. They just didn't want to tell Uncle Sam because when an owner pays themselves, that's considered profit. And they were scumbags and, and, and very crooked, and it took forever to get Jesse to even... Uh, straighten the books out enough so that he could present them to my accountant, um, which is how we eventually led to finding this out. Um, did I feel used? Fuck yeah. These guys were making money, getting paid off of my name, knowing that I'm not. I'm not getting paid off it. That's happened. That's happened a lot of times. Uh, what, what really what really will get you, if you haven't had this happen yet, Hopefully you never will. Seems like about half the people do. But when you have somebody that is your closest person and you do everything for that person and, 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 and commit your whole life to that person and become a couple and are married and that person ends up 
uh, fucking you over and, and leaving and taking as much money as they possibly can. Way more money than they ever would have made on their own stupid self because they don't have any skills or any talent or whatever. I mean, everybody's different. I'm just thinking about my specific uh, situation when I <laughs> read those colorful details there. But when you get to experience something like that and then when the person that you committed everything to um ends up being the person that also fucks you over the biggest i think that probably tops your uh your your buddy you know um using you to to get to uh, your your girlfriend's sister or something like that you know there's all kinds of different levels it does happen um uh and and here's here's the deal with that um it hurts and we can't we don't have control over what happens to us what we do have control over is how we react to it and that's true with everything so you're in control of how you react it's not someone else you can't say it's your fault man you knew i get pissed every time you call me that no you're still in charge of the way you react to being called that. Don't fool yourself. Don't kid yourself. Let's be honest. And because of that, that's where your power is. So a lot of people, they get hurt. They don't want to get hurt again. So they don't put themselves in situations ever where they could get hurt again. And by that, that means, you know, um, it's really sad that my dog died. I'm never going to have a dog again. I got broken up with my girlfriend. I'm, I'm never going to date a girl again. I just want to be myself. Um, you know, my buddy fucked me over. Fuck the world. So people uh, do that. And they say, DTA, don't trust anybody. And what RVDology says to that is that's one way you can live that way. A lot of people do. And I'm who am I to say what's wrong for them? But I don't believe in that way. I think that you're depriving yourself of future love if you're never going to love again because you had your heart broke. And how are you going to debate against that? That is what's happening. You're not going to allow yourself to feel some really good emotions. And so, therefore, are you giving yourself a better quality of life by sheltering yourself in? Yeah, you don't ever leave the house. And, and then, you know, no one's ever going to fuck with you. True, true. But you also have your life to live, and you only have one life to live. So I would say don't let this stop you from doing what you want to do, and don't let being hurt stop you from being the person that you want to be. And that's what happens to a lot of people. It changes, uh, it changes people. You know, every experience kind of changes us because now our perspective is that much bigger because it's added that new experience to it. Therefore, um, we're looking at it with a little more experience, a little different perspective than we had before. That's a good thing. That's why experience is the best teacher. You get experience uh, firsthand from yourself or you get experience second or third hand from other people's experience, hearing stories, reading about something and just applying what you can learn from that towards yourself. I say um, if, if somebody hurts you, then what happened was you probably are forced to realize that you don't have what you thought you had. You have something that's different from what you thought you had. You thought you had this relationship. You could completely trust forever. That person would never do anything for you, or you don't even need to worry about it. You never thought about it. But really what you got is this person that isn't flawless. It's a person that could make mistakes. It could be something that's forgivable, but just don't forget. And if it's uh, uh, big enough and bad enough, then, you know, maybe you shouldn't uh, be friends or, or maybe you should make that. But if it's big enough to where that is the focus of your whole relationship, then, then, then that's pretty big. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. You know what I mean? Um, my evil ex will always be my evil ex. Why? Because she completely flipped after spending 
all my money for 18 years, told her lawyer and wrote all this stuff down in a complaint so that she could get paid as much money as possible. She said, and this was uh, what, 2018, 2019, said there's no reason I should, shouldn't go back uh, to WWE and work full time so I can pay her for the rest of her life. There's, I'm faking the concussion symptoms that were um, exploited and in, 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 in headstrong. Um, I'm uh, addicted to drugs. I'm addicted to weed. Um, and all these ridiculous fake expenditures that we used to go on these vacations and we got brand new cars all the time because she chose to go out that way. That will always be the thing that comes up when I think about her. And so she's always going to be my evil ex and I don't want anything else from her. I hope I never see the bitch again with abyss with, um well i mean there was there was joe bruce who was the other guy that i said i i, I heard oh with rhino you know there won't always be you know it's always going to be something maybe it might be the first thing that stands out but i love rhino it's not going to be the only factor to our whole relationship if it is then that's fine you know move on and learn from it you are going to get hurt again. Be more ready for it next time. It's okay to pull back your trust a little bit. You know, uh, you don't get to know for sure that anybody will never hurt you. You don't get to know that. That's not part of life. You do not get to know any more than you get to know what happens after you die. You don't know. So, you know, doesn't mean you can't trust people you're going to get hurt and and you know it sometimes it takes time it always takes time there's grievances and sometimes you're not ready to get another dog yet or whatever that's fine and there's no need to rush anything but in the bigger picture our ideology says dta is something that uh, i don't do i like to look at good in people i like to trust people but you know what trust them a certain amount you know there's a lot of people that i would trust to do me a lot of favors that i wouldn't trust to stay in my house over the weekend when i'm not here yeah there's limits to your trust look at it that way and you know if, if it's something that you're not that you can't forgive the person because this this uh thing that that happened is bigger than your relationship with them then that's how it's going to be and, and that's fine too but just remember, our ideology says don't let being hurt change you from being the person that you want to be.